what's going on people my name's tammy joe and uh huge exciting things are happening we just had nvidia uh, announce their updated ampere architecture literally unboxings of the 3080 on youtube today super super cool unboxings are stupid anyways but i mean it's that means it's coming right it's happening so that's really, really awesome. And then uh, we had, what, uh, AMD, what have they announced lately? Uh, a bicycle on the same, the same day that they did the Ampere announcement, there was some mountain bike from AMD. Well, I don't know if it was the same day, but at least that was the meme. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why announce, they, they did a mountain bike for God's sakes. But no, wait, 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 for real though, AMD, that, that was just a meme. Like legitimately yesterday they announced upcoming announcements for for stuff so we have announcements of announcements coming so rdna right it's got to be coming rdna 2 it's gonna have some big navi gpus coming out boy howdy i'm amazing yeah yeah that was uh that's an announcement coming up on october 28th okay why so far away and then wait a minute there's another announcement zen 3 on the 8th why, why would zen 3 be announced before it even, oh my god Big Navi is not going to be very good, is it? That's my whole idea here. When I was kind of analyzing everything, I've seen some uh, wait for Big Navi videos come out in the last day or two, uh, and you know some kind of breakdown on what we can expect from Big Navi. Truth is, we don't know a whole lot, uh, but what we do know isn't very uh, not a lot of optimism. Not a lot of optimism there because still going to be seven nanometer RDNA two. Yeah, that's an update to a process, but. Uh, Still the same process. We already know how that performs. This isn't looking good. So I've got a breakdown on why Big Navi is going to be big disappointment and why you definitely shouldn't be waiting around for it. If you're in the market for the $500 price tier or maybe even, you know, the, the little bit higher price tier because I don't imagine it's gonna be worth waiting around for RDNA 2 to, to launch because there's just no way. I've been here before. To make the uh, analogy here, I think I've made this analogy before. AMD has been that father that left us to get a pack of smokes when we were five, and we've been waiting every birthday, every year on the stoop. Vega, he's gonna bring Vega this year. He's gonna bring, he never shows up. You get a postcard in the mail with some Vega later. Yeah, from, you know, from from Mexico, something from Tijuana. It's just like, here's here's your Vega present and it doesn't compete you know it's all all that and then you know it's just every year you know 5700 xt rating on seven it, it goes way even before that fury series fiji whatnot ah uh, oh, i'm not i'm not looking forward to this so there, there is some ray of hope okay big fanboys out there i know you're running into the comments saying shut up and i know i could have made a video about how good big navi is going to be and it would have got way more views than this video that's what some people are doing right now but I don't have any faith in AMD, any faith whatsoever for this to be a legitimate competitor. There's just no way at this point we would have had announcements by now if they were looking to overshadow Nvidia's announcement. There's just, there's just no way, especially considering they bring out this Zen 3 on October 8th, that there's no way that's gonna be anything that's coming out anytime soon. I imagine that's just gonna be a product showcase, maybe a couple of benchmarks. You know, we've seen these set, you know, some trade shows that just aren't happening right now, uh, you know, in the past. So, uh, you know, Zen 3 is a whole other thing. That's not what this video is about. Them announcing RDNA 2 much later on, like three weeks later, but it just does not bode well. And I think it just, it's like an obligatory thing because the consoles are coming out then. They got to get this stuff out there for investors. But uh, if you look at what NVIDIA's announced and the good pricing compared to uh, Turing, you might be a little bit optimistic on what AMD's bringing to the table. NVIDIA generally doesn't put all their cards on the table and actually have decent pricing unless AMD's doing something. But I'm gonna go ahead and argue that they're just throwing us a bone here this time. They're just throwing us a bone. And that maybe some sort of RDNA 2 will compete on the lower end. And they just figured instead of doing the super thing and the bullshit this time, they'll actually sell better video. I mean, a Steam hardware survey came out recently that showed like virtually no one's using anything but Pascal generation GPUs 
on either side of the, the tracks there. So it kind of makes sense that they're hoping to get back into people's good graces and kind of repeat the success they had with Pascal. And that's probably more so the reason why there's good pricing and stuff for this uh, upcoming NVIDIA generation. So what do we know about RDNA 2? Well, we know it's gonna be on seven nanometer and it's not gonna be a big processing improvement. We just, we know that. We know the 5700 XT and its performance and they're looking to essentially double the CUs and release a card like that. Does that mean double the performance of the 5700 XT? There's no way. The TDP of the 5700 XT is 225 watts. If you double that, we're at 450 watts. There's no way they release a 450 watt card. Well, they probably would with a freaking blower on it. But no, I don't think they would do that. I think it's going to be some efficiency gains. Maybe it has those ADCUs. They're not exactly used exactly as they were in the 5700. And then I would say realistically, and this is what all the slides and everything are looking to kind of show, we might see some sort of ray tracing support that's not going to be anywhere near as polished or as good as NVIDIA's. But more so, we're going to see the performance in the 6900 XT Big Navi release for around 499 of the 2080 Ti. I mean, we could just look back to the Radeon 7 and it barely competed with the 1080 Ti when the 2080 and all that was already out. It's gonna be virtually the same thing. And this card was rumored to be 599 and it's gonna be ultimate 4K performance. I think that's all Big Navi's gonna have is a 3070 competitor, and I bet it's not gonna be as fast as the 3070 for around the same amount, and its uh, whole push is gonna be, it's as fast as the 3070, but it has double the VRAM. I bet it's gonna have 16 gigabytes, and apparently Big Navi's gonna use GDDR6 instead of the like five super plus or whatever that Nvidia is using be pretty close to the same kind of memory speeds, but they are using uh, the DDR6 in the consoles apparently. But uh, yeah, the, it's probably gonna be a competitor for the 3070 with more VRAM at the same price and they're not gonna make any damn money on that higher end model. Of course, we know that NVIDIA's got better than that. In fact, Digital Foundries did a video on the 2080 versus the 3080 the day of the Ampere announcements and I would believe them. This was a NVIDIA sponsored affair, or at least they sent them the products ahead of time and said, all you can do is show percentage gains. But it seems like 2080 versus 3080, there's about a 60 to 80%, depending on the game, uh, improvement in FPS. There is no way that anything coming out of Big Navi is going to be that fast. So as far as the higher end, they're not even gonna be able to compete. Where AMD might pick up some slack here is in some cut down variants where NVIDIA doesn't have that available right now. They haven't shown any 3060s, 3050s, or whatever the hell they're gonna call them, you know, in the, in the lower end. They've only announced the high end right now. So where I think AMD is going to try and compete here is exactly where they were competing before. There's going to be a cut down, well, almost. It's gonna be a cut down variant of the uh, 6900 XT with 64 compute units or something like that. All these will be around two gigahertz because that's where they are at with RDNA 1 anyways. And uh, you'll see like 2080-ish, 2080 super performance for, well, we'll just say, I don't know, 399. And then what they'll do is they'll re-release the 5700 XT as the 6700 XT with the same 40 compute units and it'll have the efficiency gains that RDNA 2, you know, will, will you know, show. And uh, they'll put it at a price point of, I don't know, 299 this time? And maybe, fingers crossed, with eight gigabytes of VRAM, maybe 249.99? That's gonna be the card everyone wants to buy. That's all AMD's been able to do in recent years. You know, this is an RX 580. That, that's what they can sell, it's mid-range cards. And I think that's what's gonna end up happening here. 5700 will be the 6700. It'll be slightly faster, a la 470 to 570, stuff like that, 580, or 480 to 580, 580 to 590, be slightly faster and it'll be much cheaper and that's the only AMD bone you're gonna be able to grab here. Because look to the past, it's the same process, seven nanometers, right? Between RDNA one and two. 
the same as GCN 1 and 2. 7970, well, they released the 290X and you know, it was a bigger die. It was very hot. It was hard to contain. And it's the exact same thing, right? We see the launch of the Vega, you know, it barely competed with Pascal. We see the, you know, just been burned way too many times. Dad, AMD is going to show up this time and it's going to be so amazing. And he never shows up. Never, well, maybe shows up later, but drunk, you know, bloated, not any fun with some crappy present that you got you last year. <laughs> it's a good analogy. So I'm at Watch Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. Uh, I'm sorry. I know I could have made a really sappy video about how good Big Navi is going to be and it would have got all kinds of views, but I have a feeling Big Navi is going to be big disappointment. Same as always. And the best we can hope for is a 5700 XT update, 6700 XT that's priced between two and $300 USD. I think that's all we can wish for. And it'd be pretty easy for them to do it. Maybe it won't even be RDNA 2. <laughs> Who knows? I'm not watching me do Instagram Twitter. What do you guys think? Run to the comments, all you fanboys, and tell me how wrong I am. I know, but uh, I mean, I gotta be real with you. I've been here before. I've had every AMD high-end card launched and it always disappointed. And I always tried so hard to overclock it or find the new driver that would bring it somewhere near to the NVIDIA's performance. And it just, I, I'm not gonna get excited this time. And Andy, I dare you to prove I'm wrong. I dare you. I will eat my words. I'll eat my hat. That's a lie. I don't have any hats to fit my head. I'm at Watch Timmy Gino, Instagram, Twitter. Have a good day. Exciting, big Navi. Probably not.